Hi there, my name is Chris Colarco and I wanted to share with you some information that's been beneficial to me about Utita Parasvakonasana, extended side angle. So if we even listen to that name and think about that name, extended side angle, um, extended means long or long, and um, so one of the main features of, of extended side angle is getting, is getting our side body long. And um, one of the traditional ways of teaching side angle that I hear quite a bit is to make sure that um, both sides of your torso, so the side that's facing the ceiling and the side that's uh, more in, in the flexion over your front hip, should be in the same sort of same length. So it really be so often that this one shortens, this one lengthens. And what we're aiming for in that teaching is to extend this lower side body more forward and sort of take this top side body and sometimes kind of mash it down into the rib cage. So this one and the underside are the same length. One of the problems with this is when I extend my arm up and overhead, yes, I definitely get, well, it's not a problem, I get, I get a lot of long uh, stretch in the side body. But one of the difficulties is it puts a lot of compression and a lot of weight on the front leg side. And um, it actually restricts the amount, that, the amount of side body length that you can get from the top side if you were to shift the orientation of your pelvis just a little bit. So if you notice the pelvis and back when I'm trying to lengthen my front side body sort of compresses down and moves toward the floor and brings a lot of weight onto my front hip. But if I sort of come out of that for a second, come back into the shape, and then allow my left, my back hip point here to roll forward just a bit. And when I roll this back hip point forward, you can see that there's a shift of the weight of my pelvis toward the back leg. The difference between this and this. Okay, and so when I shift that pelvis toward the back side of the pose and I extend my arm up and overhead, this sort of energetic flow of front pelvis to back pelvis couples with the extension out of the back pelvis from the side body into the hand to give me this much length in this version. And then when I go back to keeping both sides body long, I try to extend the lower side body and I bring the top side body actually shorter. You can see how much I'm growing here versus the distance between my top hand and my back foot getting shorter when I, when I extend my lower side body. So we know that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? And in an extended side angle, if our intention is to extend the side body, we wouldn't want the shortest distance between the two points of the back foot and the top arm. We would want the longest distance. So if the, if the work that I was showing enables us to increase the distance between the back foot and the top arm, then we're getting more uh, side body length, we're getting more of the purpose of side angle. Utita Parasvakonasana, extended side angle. So if we even think about... <laughs> <laughs>